what's going on everybody, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is on young Germanic striker Timo Werner and whether the young German lad should consider coming to Chelsea Football Club and whether Chelsea should consider buying him as he may be quite affordable in the context of how the market is and if they'd need him because obviously they've got an informed Tammy Abraham so there are some things to talk about in this video but he's got some amazing stats and does kind of fit the profile of Frank Lampard's football and there's a few reasons why I'm going to make the case why Chelsea should be looking at him before we do get into the nitty gritty of all the statistics and metrics of how well young Timo's been performing this season in the Bundesliga a quick reminder to subscribe to Football Therapy for daily Chelsea FC content. Make sure you click the bell notifications icon and if you want to help me out please do like the video and remember to subscribe to my gaming channel Yan Plays. Link in the top of the description. Let's get into this video. Right then before I get into the nitty gritty statistical content of Timo Werner's superb season I want to preface this whole piece of content with the fact that Chelsea have a striker. <laughs> a good striker. One of their own, Chelsea's number nine, young Tammy Abraham. Tammy has exceeded all expectations this season and is the second highest goal scorer in the Premier League. He wants to play for the shirt and he plays well with his teammates, so everything's great, right? Right! But the truth is, all the great Chelsea teams of old have always had a few good strikers, and usually two really good strikers. Think about when Chelsea won the Champions League, they were both packing Didier Drogba and Fernando Torres. Now say what you want about Torres' time at Chelsea, he was still a very skillful top tier striker. In the way of strikers at the moment, Chelsea of course have Tammy Abraham, who could be seen as becoming a top tier striker, certainly one that's in form at the moment. And then what else have they got? They got Batshuayi and they got Giroud. Now, Giroud has been an excellent player throughout his career, he's a World Cup winner, he's been a bit of a cult hero for Chelsea, and he's been good for Arsenal, and certainly is a well respected striker that will have his name remembered throughout footballing history. But the dude is 33 or something and he does not suit Frank Lampard's football at all and he's got the complete wrong footballing profile. And I think he's probably going to go in January. So that leaves Michy Batshuayi, he's a good striker, he scored some big goals for Chelsea. Um, he can be good, he can be a bit clumsy on the ball sometimes, but he knows, he knows that he's never going to challenge Tammy for that number one spot and I think he's come out recently and said he's happy not to and just to be a sort of rotational striker. Which is good, it's good that everyone is happy, but really I think Chelsea need another striker that's going to keep Tammy Abraham properly on his toes. Chelsea are always going to be in four competitions. There's always going to be enough games to go around for say two top tier strikers to get a lot of game time and challenge the other one. And strikers often come on for the other one in games. They're usually maybe the first sub if you're chasing a goal. So often both strikers can play in the same game. And God forbid both play on the same pitch at the same time. So there's plenty of opportunity for two top tier strikers. Seiji Rugo's in January, Michi goes to third striker. Striker. Remember, Chelsea have often had three strikers or more throughout history. So, you get where I'm going here. Enter the case for Timo Werner. In terms of playing style and profile, Werner suits the Frank Lampard system well. Even though he signed a new contract at RB Leipzig, the team he plays at in the Bundesliga, there is a release clause. Now, the release clause is rumoured to be 30 million euros, which is obviously absolutely nothing in today's climate, especially when you look at his numbers and what he's doing as a striker. This release clause is rumoured to go up to 60 million euros, which to be honest, even if it does go up to that, if you look at his numbers and his age and his profile and his ability and his experience, that's still a good deal in what is a mental transfer market at the moment. So if it's anywhere between 30 million euros and 60 million euros, even if it's in the middle at 45, all of it is a banging deal. So I hear you, I hear you, you're going, all right, yeah, and all right, yeah, and you're talking about maybe needing a striker, you're talking about, yeah, a really good deal apparently, but why is this a good deal? Well, perfect opportunity to give you his numbers from this season. So let's pull up that statistics page. So, Timo Werner, 23 year old German striker, plays for RB Leipzig this season in the Bundesliga, has played 12 times and he has scored 12 goals. That's right, a goal a game, elite searing form. But on top of those 12 goals, he has four assists. And get this, those 16 goal involvements in the league this season works out to a goal contribution every 61 minutes. A goal contribution every hour, essentially. That is immensely good. 
A quick reminder that throughout a season, if a striker gets, say, a goal every other game, so what's that, a goal every 180 minutes, that's pretty good. Anything like around a goal 150 minutes is a really good return. But Werner's doing a contribution every 60 minutes, which is, like I said, searing elite form, superb. He's, in, he's playing in an attacking team, but Chelsea are an attacking team. I feel like he would gobble up chances. A few more statistics for you guys to gobble up about this striker. Werner takes 3.8 shots per game, which is high. Sometimes people can take too many shots, but again, this is a pretty ripe number and just shows you he's got an eye for goal. And because he scored so many goals, you're happy for him to take so many shots. The young German striker makes two key passes per game, which is a very, very highly creative number for a centre forward. That's probably why he's bagged himself four assists already, because he's looking in to play his fellow teammates. And when you've got you know, a side like Chelsea where the midfielders and wingers score, that's really, really positive to have such a creative output. He makes 1.5 dribbles per game, which again, for a centre forward is high. To be honest, for a centre forward to do any dribbles is pretty impressive because really they're not coming in from wide or they're coming up from midfield. Usually they're occupying a centre forward position, but for him to execute 1.5 dribbles per game really is demonstrating that he has it all in his locker. And finally, he has four Man of the Match awards this season in the Bundesliga, which really is a really high number for the first third of the season, but it's unsurprising when you look at how devastatingly high his offensive output is. So, as you can see, if you want a striker that's gonna score a load of goals, get you assists, be creative in passing and do dribbles and run in behind and do all sorts of stuff, very, very good. Timo Werner's your man at the ripe young age of 23. Let's get rid of this statistic screen. So Werner's generally having a lovely time playing for RB Leipzig at the moment, but would he want a move? Maybe. RB Leipzig are sort of like a super hybrid team put together by Red Bull that are the most unliked team in the Bundesliga. Now I'm not saying that's the reason why I'd leave, he's got a good coach there and he probably loves his teammates, but at the age of 23 when you're doing really really well and you're in searing form, you might look to push a transfer that's going to give you a whole new experience, a whole lot of money and you know try a new city like I don't know London. In terms of an appealing team and coach to play under, Frank Lampard, a player who scored a lot of goals, who's a young coach and a young team who are playing attacking football and in West London, South West London, that all looks pretty appealing, right? If Chelsea can look to secure Champions League football as well, this might all look even better for the young lad. The one thing is, for Werner, he'll look at Tammy Abraham, who's playing well, and where Werner goes, he'll probably want to go where he can be the main man. Obviously, a big one to look at would be by Munich because Lewandowski's in his 30s now but he's an absolute elite form like he's in the best centre forward in the world form right now so he might be thinking oh it's a couple of years before I see myself muscling that spot he might fancy his opportunity to do so at Chelsea but you look at places like Real Madrid and obviously they've got Jovic who should be the man behind Benzema coming through I don't know if Juventus are going to splash any more money on the centre forward and you look at other teams like Barcelona I, d I just don't know if other teams are willing to splash out at the moment but if Chelsea do want two top tier centre forwards I mean look at Manchester City with Aguero and Gabriel Jesus a lot of teams have two top tier centre forwards I'm just posing the question because Chelsea have the money he suits the profile of how Chelsea want to play I'm not saying he should come and take Tammy Abraham's number nine shirt because he shouldn't Tammy's very very good I just think Chelsea should have two top tier striking options. He has been linked to Chelsea in the media before, but whether that's a serious link or not, I don't know. But I'm posing the question to you after showing you his statistics for this season. What do you think? Do you think Chelsea should go for Timo Werner? Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and opinions on this. Remember, if you've enjoyed today's content, please do like the video. And again, I want to remind you to subscribe to Yan Plays, my FIFA channel. Click the link in the top of the description because I think I will be buying Timo Werner in my Chelsea career mode. So I always look for the viewer's guidance when I play that game, so go check it out. Remember to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Twitter and Instagram. That's it from me today, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby